there is going to be a fourth video for this trip, which means we're going to go snorkeling for a halibut. But first, we're going to the mouth to catch yellowtail. Apparently, there was a really nice bite the last couple days, and it came from lots of live bait. So we're jigging up somewhere about two or three miles from the mouth. We've already got 15 mackerel, and we're just going to catch a couple more. Main thing we're going to do is yo-yo and throw some live bait down and try to catch these things today. TJ, pretty much everyone else on the boat has not caught a uh, yellowtail except me so far, so it's gonna be fun to see them catch their first ones. Yeah, I'm not sure if y'all can hear me. There's a bunch of pongas coming out. Everybody's ready. We got two live bait rigs ready to go. Pongas over there. That's the mouth over there. Excited for this. This is gonna be fun. And what's the most exciting thing for me? I've never got into a really good yellowtail bite. So this is gonna hopefully give me enough opportunity to catch some fish and work different things. You know, work a fast retrieve, work a slow retrieve, maybe work a jig. Then if I can find something that works, find a pattern, then I'll gain some confidence to fish some more at the Coronado Islands or in LA or San Diego. So this is a great experiment to get some data on these yellowtail. We got Aldo, the captain, today. All right, here we go. Let's give it a whirl. So I'm using it's a big old yo-yo. Let's make sure my drag is good. Bottom. Cast it forward. This is dropping. We got a strong current going this way, so I'm gonna cast it forward so I can yo-yo straight up. I have to take my jacket off. This stuff makes you tired when you yo-yo like this. And I spent all day one time yo-yoing at the um, Catalina Island. All day, didn't get a, a fish. You on? Map is on. But not a yellowtail, oh. bass. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Oh, that's like a tiger fish, kind of. Look at his eyes. Yeah. You're on? Yellowtail. Hell yeah. Hit on the way down. Nice, dude. Yes, is it is. No, I'm shaking. Oh, yeah. Still lets you swallow this thing. Got him? Whoa, whoa. Nice, that's a good one. Hell that's yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Right, thanks Aldo. My arm is so sore from yo-yoing, so TJ's yo-yoing right now. And I'm just holding this one, tired. I said I was gonna yo-yo all day, but that changed pretty fast. Woo! <laughs> nice. Uh-oh. Here it goes, it's under the boat. Watch out for your lines. Yeah, I know. My line. Here it comes right here. See right here? Catch and release. Oh no. Finally on the jig. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's a good one. No, no, no. Catch and release. Catch and release, buddy. Catch and keep. Take some line on this one. Haha. <laughs> Good one. Good one. One fish. Hmm? One fish. Woo! Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, nice. Buddy. Oh, 
Ugh. Come on up. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I turned off the camera and then got bit. It was perfect time. Let's go. Oh, my God. This is a good one. I have a bruise on my leg. Oh. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I know, me too, man. Oh, I'm gonna have a bruise here tomorrow. Oh, my drag is tight, too. Let's go, man. Been waiting for this. Been fishing for like two hours. Finally got him. Because I was thinking uh, when you're fishing the yo-yo, when you bring it up, it kind of twirls, you know? But I don't know, especially when you bring it fast. So I haven't really been doing it fast. And then I was watching Aldo bring it in. He got one. And then he was reeling super fast. So I just started doing it like that. Second time I did it, got bit. <sighs> This is that Accurate Valiant 600 Out Outdoor Pro Shop sent it to me. Shout out to Outdoor Pro Shop. <sighs> Thank you, Pat. Got 80 pound braid on it. Let's go. Just gaining on him slowly. Let's got it. I'm going to say this is a 35, 40 pounder. I got color too. Oh, no wonder. Still a good one. Oh. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Nice. No wonder he was fighting so hard. Look at that. Uh. Yeah, let's take a picture. We'll do a double picture. Here. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, let's go. We're over here, TJ. Good pick. Nice. Are you kidding me? Oh no. He's off. He's gone. No, he's, he's he was just coming up. Oh maybe he came back for it. I don't know what's going on. Something weird's happening. Oh drop it, drop it, maybe you'll come back. Catch and release. Damn. Damn. <laughs> another one, let's another chance. No okay. catch and release. Matter of fact. All right, man. Oh. Catch and keep. Nice. Yo, two. Way to cut my tail. Looks like he's bleeding there. Might as well cut the tail, see? Yeah. Nice. On the retrieve, too? Yep. Hell yeah, bro. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All on the yo yo's now. Got two fish doubled up again. Jan and Kaylin on them.
Oh, yo! This one's small. It's not that big. It's got a really light line. Huh? Mine's on the other side of the boat though. Wanted to run that way. Oh. Yeah. You guys might be tanked. Here, I'm pulling. That's probably mine. Yeah. Yeah, they're tanked. Oh, that's yours. Oh, yeah, behind hey. the boat. Take a couple. Yeah, yours is right there. Out. Is he dead? Off? No, he's trying to... Uh oh. 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 <laughs> okay, let's do this again. Alice, you got to gaff this one. Okay, I All right. <laughs> got to redeem himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. I think I do it. I'm used to doing it, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold the gaff closer to the hook. Oh, yeah. That was the first half of the day. Caught our yellow tail. I'm happy. How do you. Happy? Good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go back in and try to find some halibut in the shallow water. So last time I was out here, I had this anchor line and I had this attached to an ab iron and that was kind of my anchor. But today I'm going to tie, I tied one end to the end of the fishing rod. And with that, if I want to, I could drop this and everything's gonna stay floating with this Coca-Cola bottle. And if I need to change the jig, I've got a swim bait. I got some jigs in here. Toby said there's a bunch of fish. Alex, Kaylin, and Toby, they just saw a yellow tail over here in the shallow, shallow water. So that's nothing more to say, let's go. Hi everyone. Hope you're all doing amazing today. This is the last day in Mag Bay. This was day four. After fishing for yellowtail, I wanted to jump in the water because I knew it was a sandy bottom and I knew that there were some halibut down there. Started fishing off by this rock pile in front of the Airbnb with a swim bait. I think the swim bait may have been a little big for the fish that were around here. Or these fish were just scared of me because it was very difficult to get anything to bite but it was really interesting swimming around and seeing what the structure was some old car bumpers old car probably been deteriorated many years ago old crab traps lobster traps but these fish were not interested in my swim bait at all we saw a huge puffer fish right here I'm gonna switch to the jig because I don't think swim bait's the right thing to use out here. So I'm gonna do a little, small, 30 gram jig. Let's go. So after switching to the 30 gram jig, I started to target this small puffer fish. Actually, it looks like a decent sized puffer fish. I was just jiggling it right in front of him and he was sitting there with his mouth barely open. I literally could have dropped the hook into his mouth and pulled him out, but I'm not trying to hook anything if they're not willing to take it. So decided to give up on it. And in hindsight, fishing with those seals the other day, that probably was not a good idea. You know, that was the one chance I had to jump in in some deeper water and chances of if even if i did get a fish chances of a seal taking it were pretty high so i don't think i'll be doing that again but swimming around here i saw some stingrays on the bottom 
and I was trying to drop the jig down and make it look like a dead anchovy or a dead bait fish had just fallen to the bottom, but they weren't interested in it at all. And yeah, I was just swimming around and even here, it's hard to see, but there's a halibut in the middle of the screen. And I was casting to the halibut, dropping this jig right in front of it. No movement at all until I spooked him and he was gone in a flash. So that was the only halibut that I saw for the day and I started swimming around. It's an old lobster trap and it just got murky. But overall, it was such an amazing time. Mag Bay, great time out there. I would definitely do this again. And we have plans next year to do a three day camping trip in the desert. It's going to be epic. So stay tuned for that. It's probably a similar time next year. But the show must go on. So we're back in San Francisco doing some local stuff now. Stay tuned for that. Well, saw one halibut. That was cool, but no way he was taking that jig. Either way, still a cool experience. What are you going to call it? Thanks for joining me on this episode of Mexico. And I don't know what the heck is in store, but whatever it is, it's something to find. Peace out.